contributory in Indian art. Uh, I went to Art Heritage Gallery and I met Mr. Shivaza. And uh, I asked him a few questions and often, as you know, he's a very inspiring personality. So he spoke about Prakriti, Purush, Bindu. That was... So far, this six months. Yes, I will You want to say something? We in the Raza Foundation are very happy to be associated with this venture back from France because the founder of Raza Foundation himself went to France and was scholarship in 1950 but stayed there for 60 years, kept on coming back to India to rejuvenate his vision and what you have energies and finally decided to set up the foundation. We are, stand, uh, we are today uh, at the Alliance Francaise and uh, it is featuring my work, Inhabited Geometries. Uh, the work uh, is, uh, uh, just the work that is displayed here ranges from canvases, uh, watercolors, tapestry, um, sculptures and paperworks, perforations. Uh, paintings mainly that I have painted, they are uh, expressed in a certain B series or uh, let's say uh, the Cori series called Perforation in Triangle and Circle and Square. Uh, why to a triangle, circle and square is because uh, I, it, uh, geometry itself intrigues me a lot. I have, uh, I did research for, for six years on uh, Indian uh, geometrical art. Uh, that consists also of floor drawings and yantras and mandalas. That uh, potential, I mean, they have uh, inspired me a lot uh, in a way that it reflects in my artwork. Why I have chosen Beehive is uh, also because of its structural, uh, architect architectonic structure. Also because uh, when I see Beehive, it seems as if there's a lot of thing going on within the Beehive. But when you look at it, it gives you a sense of paranoia. You, what if bees will sting you or this and that? But at the same time, the structure itself is so inviting. It is uh, so uh, structured in a way that hexagon after hexagon, consisting eggs, um, honey, and other things, that completely uh, speaks about life that is going on in that dead, uh, very geometrical, very sharp and angular structure. Yes, the exhibition, Richard Navani's exhibition, is a very interesting exhibition because it is also it is a mix of technique and it is full of tensions, tension between visible and invisible, between abstract and uh, very concrete and geometric figures, between past and present, between it and so on and so on. It is a lot of tension which makes this exhibition very, very dense and very interesting. Um, I am sure it will, it will meet also the expectation of a lot of visitors.